how's it going guys welcome back to yet another video on my channel so today is a full video i'm going to show you how you can do uh how you can create the effect called the uh, dispersive effect what i mean that is this so today i'm going to show you how you can do this in using adobe photoshop so it's pretty much easy you can do it if you are new or you know if you just started using this software so it's basic things you don't have to do a lot of things when you're starting doing this and so so yeah it's pretty much easy you can do and yeah so if you are new to this channel feel free to subscribe to my channel turn on notifications and yeah you don't want to do let's begin with the tutorial so you know Photoshop and insert the image so I want to be so this is the image which I am going to be showing you and this which I am going to be working and showing the effect so first of all what you need to do you have to just select your object I am going to be using a quick selection tool for selecting my object and just select your object quickly if you want to uh, use a different if you uh, make sure you while you are doing this you are selecting object uh, correctly don't don't you know don't do any kind of mistake while doing this because yeah we are, we are going to be working pretty much with this all uh, all the time so this is the main thing so you can use fixation tool or you can use even the laser tool which you if you want you can use the plenty of option when you are you when you are doing this kind of stuff so yeah feel free to use any of this stuff so when you are done with your creating object then hit control plus j it will uh, just select we just copy so this is the subject which i have copied so it will create a new layer and thus the subject is copied over here so yeah so now what you need to do you need to add an object or sorry you need to add a background to if you add a background to this image because yeah as you see there is no background so we, we need to add a background so there are two ways that you can add a background for in here and so what you do you have to go to, go to the adjustment there and then go to the gradient you can add so there are a lot of options of gradients and color you can hear if you want to so i'm just going to be selecting this and then i will just change this so i need a white little bit so and then just hit okay just play with around and if you feel free to you can add a different angles and colors if you want so just yeah just play with that and i will just bring the gradient fill layer to the layer one so yeah as you can see the background is added now and just be adding more white to the background okay okay that's good okay now that's okay okay so as you can see right here it added a nice little background to that so there is another thing another option that you can do to add background so what you need to do you have to just create a new layer into that and then go to that section and then go to fill and make sure you have selected the foreground color okay you have said before oh, oh. program color the blending mode is normal the opacity is 100 percent and then just hit okay so it will add a white background to the layer and if you want to change the color you can just go and change the color before when you are doing that so here is the option where you can change the color of the background so i'm just going to keeping the gradient field because it look nice okay so yeah when you are uh, just delete this background okay so after when you added background uh, so then just select the layer one and copy the layer one because we need two layers because we need two of that to work on so select the layer one then go to filter and then go to the liquify option which you have here and make sure you have uh, selected the forward web tool and just do it as i am showing to you just do it as i am showing to you i know it look weird but yeah this is what we have to do to create that effect and make sure you are doing as I am showing to you here and yeah, I am just going to be pulling way up here so when you have done with that um, just then just hit ok to that and it will look like this so much really. so then select the layer 1 and press alt and add a mask so what I will do it will add an inverted mask to the layer 1 it will hide that and yeah that is what we need then select the layer one which you have copied and then add just a normal marks to it uh, yeah so, so that is done so then you have to select your brush then bring up this 
thing and there are a lot of bugs that 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 they have given in the software or even if you want a new version and you want to create a more more kind of different effects to that there are a lot of bugs on the internet which you which, which, which have given you can just draw on it and yeah work with that so i'm going to be quickly working the the whichever the brushes which i have given here so um and yeah i'm just going to be applying so when you have uh, selected the layer one copy which you have copied make sure your foreground color is black because we have added a mask which is white so yeah you know you know yeah you get that so i'm just going to be changing the angle of it a uh, couple of times and the size is way too much it's way too big so yeah i'm just going to be applying uh, over here and make sure while you're doing this you also change angle make sure uh, don't do this with the same angle so yeah it will look it will doesn't look nice when you are doing this with the same angle every time every time so make sure you are changing the angle of the brush and don't do it too often okay so you can use a different brush if you even if you want and I'm, I'm happy with that okay so okay i'm, ha okay, I'm happy there so when you are done with the this you know this is so move to the layer one which you have uh, which which we have applied the liquefied effect so make sure now the color is white because we have we have inverted we have added a uh, inverted mask to that oh, yeah you get that so then what you need to do you have to just uh, select a mask and just going to be changing the angle of it and then what i will do i will just increase the size of it because now we are working um, working with the, the with the, the liquify effect which we have created so then just do this yeah it's not too much okay and okay not too shabby not too fancy clean easy and simple when you uh, you see yeah, it's kind of looking like this this kind of effect which you have uh, if you created and even if you want to add more layer to that you can just do and add some other more filter to that so it looks kind of nice so when you are happy with and you are happy with what you have done so yeah so now as you can see right here so this is uh, so you can see right here this is what you have seen this stretch which we have uh, liquefied when we have done the job liquefied kiya tha wo abhi thoda bahut dikh raha hai mein jab jab apne wo effect add kar raha hai so you need to so you uh, we need to remove that uh, so yeah what you need to do if you want if you don't want this then go to your brush tool and then just hit the red uh, red click and select the mixture plus tool so make sure you are selected and the settings will be as shown over here so make sure you have set all of the setting rightly as i shown on the screen here uh, uh, so now uh, what you need to do you will just uh, brush brush it like as i have shown over here so it will just just do this so it will hide there and it will not look into the picture which we are doing here so yeah as you can see right here it is not looking okay so hide there hide that i've done because and even if you want even if you do, don't want this you know as access so you can just do go here and hide that as well because yeah it, 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 it's not looking good okay it's not looking good So this is what the result will come out of this editing. So yeah, it's look nice, it's to look dope, and yeah. So that is what is the result, and that is how the output of this cool, nice effect is came. So yeah, this is image after uh, just uh, doing something with editing and so so yeah. So this is the image which you had getting over here. So yeah, thanks, uh, guys. So yeah, that was the video. Thanks for watching. And yeah, if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn on the turn on the notifications, and yeah, leave a comment. And thanks for watching, and praise everybody.